y'all good morning it is a couple of days later again i think the last thing i ended off on the last vlog or i don't even know that might still be the same vlog is i was sick i am like 90 percent better now i think i'm still just dealing with um pollen honestly allergies i think that's the main thing I have to, I like to use this one. Um, I have to constantly moisturize my face. I use the Lorray Pose, La Roche Pose. I was like, wait, that does not even sound right. Um, triple moisturizing cream. So I'm constantly having to like blow my nose. And so my nose and my mouth area, I guess because I'm constantly wiping around it. It's just gotten so so dry but guess what we got so i went ahead and i finally got my new apple watch i already opened it and set it up so it was actually like right here i ended up going with um this like tan color and i went with the gold face i was gonna go with a black and a gold face but the girl was like why are you gonna get a black strap when my last one is a black strap and apparently all you had to do is like press this little button on the back of your apple watch and you can slide this off i know i'm late i know i'm late i know i'm late i have never switched out my wristbands so she was like if you really want black you can always just switch it out when you want it so why don't you get a different color? So I got a different color. Um, this is the 8 Series Gold Stainless Steel Case 41mm. Which, I just feel like it looks so big. But I guess this was a 38 and I really like the small size. But this is just so much bigger. Like, this is a 3 Series. This is an 8 Series. See how much bigger it is? But, y'all, when I said I went through hell with this. So, I, I went yesterday and it was just a lot so they i went to the apple store at perimeter both of these okay both of these would not turn on so i was there from like i was there from like 12 40 until like three something and i'm just like what the heck like why is this taking forever they had well, they went through two of them they charged it it wouldn't turn on they were like oh you got a little charge a little bit long charge a little bit longer 45 minutes this thing ain't even turned on no apple single no nothing so then they were like oh we're so sorry they had a refund me so then i had to go all the way to the linux store there and i told them they were like oh that sounds crazy that's never happened why it happened at the at the linux store mm -hmm. it happened at the linux store sure did sure did so <laughs> they're all looking like that's suspicious, you know, like, and I'm looking at them like, I told y'all something not right with the gold one, maybe I need to go black. So I'm just like, I better not have no issues. So I ended up being there for almost another like two hours because I didn't leave to almost five o'clock. So the manager there was actually really sweet. He was like, do you want another wristband? And I told him, I was like, yeah, I don't really need another wristband because I never switch them out. I was going to get black and the girl already convinced me to get another color. So I'm, it's going to be what it is. So he ends up giving me this for free, which I thought was really nice. I travel a lot anyway, so I can charge my iPhone and my watch pretty much on one little thing. He just folded up. So he gave me that. Because I was like, well, you know what you can give me is you can give me the block. Seeing as how... Y'all giving out chargers, but you can't charge it without the U, U, um, what is this? USB-C block. So they gave me the USB-C block. Why is this so? They gave me the USB-C block and they also gave me this, um, portable MagSafe dual charger. He gave me that for free. So I thought that that was really nice. When I say I was so weak and tired because I was still like kind of sick and I hadn't eaten all day because I thought this was gonna be a 30 minute process so here I am I went to go pick up some stuff for my sister it's that that was uh I had to be at her I left her around like 11 something so I'm thinking it's gonna be a quick in and out process I'll be back home I'm gonna eat no time child was too weak to even 
scream, fight, argue, but I guess that's a blessing because, you know, he ended up blessing me. So that was nice or whatever. But today I need to get up because I actually need to go back to the Apple store. <sighs> they mischarged me. So um, Apple doesn't really price match, but they will give you pretty much like 10% off. So all the Apple watches were on sale at Best Buy and Target. So this watch was $6.99 and they were on sale for $6.29. I thought the girl included, you know, like my Apple Care and apparently she didn't even include the Apple Care and my total was the full price. She was the the first place did the price match and I told her, I was like, you know, here goes the receipt. They price match and I showed her to Best Buy had it online it was in stock and so did um target so apple will match at 10 percent, which is what the discount was anyways she didn't do my price match so i'm thinking the total was that plus apple care that was not that was just the total she didn't put apple care on there so <sighs> back to the apple store i go so we're gonna do that today um i really need to just be in and out honestly because freaking tired <sighs> um i took zyrtec please pray like y'all i'm low-key afraid to go outside <laughs> that's that's how bad the pollen is in atlanta i am low-key look at my lashes look 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 look, look. can y'all see i don't have hardly any lashes on left okay yeah so i got the zyrtec right here by my bed Okay, and I'm like, you, you say one, one, one for 24 hours? How long does this last? Because, do I need to pop another one? But I thought it was 24 hours, so hopefully. And I'm hoping to be able to get back to working out. Um, So, <sighs> y'all pray for me. Pray for your girl, because I'm really worried. Because it's hard for me to breathe sometimes. And I've literally been using a humidifier to like purify my home. And I feel like the kid in the bubble, y'all might be too young for that, but I feel like the kid in the bubble. Cause I feel like I can't leave my house. Otherwise it's just a wrap. But let's get going. I feel much better. I feel much better. to literally erase my phone it erased my watch in order for them to return it and now I have to re-download everything even though why y'all blurry okay even though I just got everything working and fixed on my iPhone on my Apple watch and then they still didn't even do the price adjustment right like yeah so I'm I'm a bit annoyed right now but at this point, I give up. I give up. Just let, let me get my stuff to go. Just let me get my stuff to go. I'm out here looking like a hobo. And at this point, I just want to go. Because I'm about to flip out. And it's not fair for me to flip out on the girl helping me. Because she didn't do it. But the other folks, yeah. I'm about over it. I'm about over it. I'll check with y'all later. Just updating y'all. Ooh! Y'all! What a do? I need to deposit. Deposit. <sighs> Something. Deposit. One of these days, they gonna make an invention. Maybe I need to invent it. Something that makes going to the ATM easy for women with males. Okay. Make sure all the money's facing the right way. It's not. Oh my God, they stressing me. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, Lee, all this damn beeping. 
So we went ahead, we went to Kroger's. Went to the Kroger's. I exchanged. Oh, so now you wanna take your time. I exchanged my salad lads. So back to it. What? What is going on? I went to Kroger, I exchanged my salads. You guys know I like to go with the apple walnuts. It's three for 11, has um, 270 calories and it's only 21, 21 carbs, but protein is 11. And then I normally have like an Alani shake also. That's 20 grams of protein. Okay, what the heck? Oh, my battery's about to die. I'm gonna check in with y'all later because I look rough anyway. So we'll check in when we get um, back to the house because I need to hurry up and get about this pollen. Yeah. Hey, my, hey. <laughs> what's good, y'all? I feel like I haven't talked to y'all in so many days. Oh, I need light, you know? I need light. I feel like I haven't talked to y'all, you guys, in so many days. It's been almost a week. A lot's been going on, I've been real busy. And I'm trying to uh, focus on making some moves. <laughs> so I talked a little bit about it. If you guys wanna see this whole look, I actually filmed a random kind of ratchet ghetto um, <laughs> get ready with me. So yeah, go check that out so you can see the full look. <laughs> but, oh, I'm so sorry. I need to get over. So, I am headed right now to my girl's birthday. It's always somebody's birthday for me, right? I feel like that's really the only times I really get out the house or I'm excited to get out the house, for real, for real. A birthday, I love celebrating people, especially my peoples, I love celebrating life. So we're going to Umi, I'm so excited, but I'm kinda sad. I'm excited because I've never been to Umi before and I always wanted to go. I'm sad because it's 11 o'clock. Her dinner started at like 10. And she texted, I, I don't know if she texts everyone, she texted me today at like 2 o'clock. So I didn't see the text until like almost 9. <laughs> so I immediately called her and was like, oh my God, like, sis, why you didn't? call me let me know she was like oh i thought you saw it are you coming are you coming you have to come so i immediately got up started getting ready luckily umi is not far from me i'm almost there but i just wanted to check in with you guys and let you guys kind of know what's happening <gasps> uh, <little> straight <sighs> we have a third one oh let you guys know what's happening. Is it just me or does it hurt your heart when your tires have to go through trauma? Like tires and phones, two things that you kind of like hold your breath in for. So I'm feeling so much better. I'm still feeling very stuffed up. And then my sister just told me today, she was like, no, you definitely, definitely had, you know, the vids. There's a new strain apparently out with the exact same symptoms that I had. And they said it doesn't go quickly. Your symptoms last like a week. They kind of linger. <gasps> what was that? Okay, we don't need no problems tonight with tires. So that has been me. Uh, my symptoms, I've had the vids two times prior. I feel like I have it once a year, once every other year type thing. Whatever new strain and you know it's never been anything i'll have symptoms for uh a day or two and that's it and my only symptoms are body aches and chills i never lose sense of smell taste none of that so it was the same thing this time but this time i oh ooh, my body went through it and i was not hungry the other times i'm still hungry like i still feel normal i'm just cold <laughs> This time, I wasn't hungry. It was just a lot. So, but I feel a lot better. I'm constantly pumping my body with the vitamins that I need. But other than that, feeling good, looking better, you know. And we're headed out to Umi. I just really wish it wasn't so late. The kitchen, I believe, stopped serving food. I think she said at 11. 
or like 10 30 or something so i can't get food but i guess i can get a cocktail i really am not in the mood to drink drink i don't know um i'm excited to get back to working out this is in my way i'm excited to get back to working out um i started back again with doing my five miles a day walking five miles a day at least and i have noticed that it seems like i can still feel something while i'm working out not like i'm short of breath but short of breath if that makes sense so i really don't want to drink i just wanted some sushi <laughs> so i definitely have to go back to umi um maybe I, maybe i could see if she wants to go back tomorrow because she's on a sushi kick anyways so maybe she'll want to go back tomorrow and we can just <gasps> oh car please don't do that this car tried to cut me off go baby go because one thing i'm not going to do is fight for the road <laughs> hey my babies i am back home and so excited because what is my favorite part of the night taking off my makeup you hear me so we're gonna try to preserve this <laughs> and we are going to put this headband on had such a good time so umi that's my first time going to umi super cute right they were so nice um i guess the other little spot next to it is himitsu and you have to know like the password to get in or have a reservation and tonight even with the password they was not having it they was not trying to let nobody in from what I could see. So we didn't even bother trying to go there. We ended up going to the garden room afterwards, which I believe I found in there a little bit, I think. So whatever footage I have, I'll show y'all about that. And then pretty much came on home. So we had a cute little night, great time with the girls. We were all like, why is it that we only do this once a year at Tia's birthday? We need to get together more often because we always have such a good time. 
so I'm going to get unready and kind of get ready for bed so y'all can see how this process goes we're gonna take these lashes off it's so weird I used to wear lashes all the time and now it just feels like I can feel them okay I can feel them <laughs> In the rhythm of the night. So we're gonna get ready for bed. But what have I noticed about Atlanta nightlife? Um, it's just, ouch. Okay, that didn't hurt as bad as I thought it would. It's just a little much for me at least. Um, maybe doing the most. So normally I would use a makeup remover. But I don't have my makeup wipes. So I'm going to use a little one size bottle. So oily. I'm going to use my little one size makeup on my whole face. Ugh. This face was still so cute. Oh well. Mm -hmm. Use that. Looking real oily or whatever. And then I'm just probably gonna use these little cotton rounds to remove it. I like to kind of rub it in to make sure it really gets everything. But, okay. So what I realized is that Atlanta nightlife is not really for the world. So, <laughs> um, it's not a whole lot going on. Like, I'm like, wow. There needs to be like so much to do. Let me get some ice and water and I'm putting it on the cotton round to just help everything together at one time. There's not really a whole lot going on. Um, and I just realized like, man, I miss my house. <laughs> um, every time I go out. If you watch me and you live in Atlanta, let me know. Is that just my age? Or is that actually Atlanta? Cause yeah. I'm cool on it. Umi, super cute, super nice. Food was good. So I'm um, with the hype. I would definitely be back. So I can enjoy and not feel rushed because my fault, I was late. So I was rushed. And then garden room, cute as always. Definitely a vibe. A lot of people hanging out good drinks i think the drinks are decent um food i can't remember i've had the food before but i honestly can't remember it's like light bites it's not like a full meal there so i think more so a la carte but yeah we had a good night i am that's kind of my process for removing my makeup and i pretty much am good and done <laughs> when i tell y'all I feel like men nowadays too are just really aggressive and I hate to say it about like our black men but like one of the places we went to you know um one of the girls is already inside I believe she had already spoken to a security guard because right when I pulled up they were like oh if you're in the parking lot you should see two black cones Move the two cones and park right there. So I was like, okay. You know, I had actually passed it, so I had to reverse to it. So I reversed to it and moved the cones. <sighs> this mug is so tight. I don't know what's going on with this thing. Dang, this thing, I swear it starts getting tight on its own. <laughs> what the heck? So I removed the cone, right? And I proceeded to reverse. Out of nowhere, big dude security guard comes and was like where are you going so he kind of startled me and I kind of like when I'm like scared or startled I will laugh so I kind of chuckled I'm like hey I'm going to you know this one place but really I said the place I was looking at and not the place I was going so he was like oh this park is for so and so I said oh no I'm sorry that's actually where I'm going I'm looking at that place and you kind of startled me so I just kind of throw it off he was like well you don't just be moving cones you need to talk to one of us and I was like I was like I'm so sorry I said wait I said, I'm so sorry <laughs> I didn't see you because literally I had driven through the parking lot in reverse never saw one 
body or anything he's a big dude so he would be hard to miss i was like i didn't see you but literally i was just on the phone and i was told to move the, the cones who told you to move the cones and i'm like my homegirl told me to move the cones to park <laughs> he was like well, your homegirl ain't who you need to be listening to i said well maybe i don't know how she knew that there was two black cones right there because she was already inside maybe the security guard told her he was like no anybody told her i was like okay well i'm sorry i said but can you talk to me a little bit more gentle because you're just real aggressive and you scared me <laughs> and i had to tell him like twice like you're scaring me like you're really aggressive and he was pretty much telling me like you know they gotta be that way because people are aggressive and i'm just trying to tell him but i'm not being aggressive <laughs> i even made sure i lowered my tone and almost was whispering so that he would know I'm not being aggressive. <laughs> I'm a lady. I don't I don't want to be talked to like that. You can tell me I apologize. Okay, no problem. Is it okay if I park there still? He's like, yeah, because people keep trying to park there and go to the across the street. It's like a strip, uh, strip club. And I was like, oh, well, you know, I'm sorry. I'm not going there. But I am going right here. Is that okay? So it was like about the third time that I think it finally clicked for him like, oh, maybe I am talking a little bit aggressive to her and she really is being calm and nice and sweet. I'm just like, golly, I'm a little, we gotta talk to, I'm just thinking like, I'm a woman. Like, why do you have to be so hard over something so simple to park a spot? And I'm not being combative with you. I'm apologetic, I'm sorry. <laughs> like why why are we here so then he finally calmed down and he finally was like okay well next time just make sure you talk to security i'll say okay no problem I definitely will never coming back <laughs> but sure i'm gonna make sure i talk to security but i'm just like why are our men so aggressive towards us <laughs> I get it. I do. I'm not oblivious. I know that some girls are very rowdy and aggressive also. But I just feel like give what is given to you. And I was apologetic. I was very soft spoken. I was very nice. So why are you screaming at me? <laughs> so then when we went in and the place was not it not popping whatsoever we immediately left so i was there for all of like maybe four minutes he was like um he was waving saying bye smiling and i'm just like thank you because <laughs> you was real aggressive like i'm just like why why we gotta be so aggressive like i don't think we should be that aggressive towards each other <laughs> or at least you know give what you're given i mean i get it he works in the nightlife so i'm sure girls guys everybody probably just doing the most they tip for you or whatever but i wasn't <laughs> i was not at all oh i didn't even tell y'all but i mean i showed y'all before this is what i use on my face i like to use this it's just very moisturizing I like to use it in the winter time or I'll use this Peter Thomas Roth water drench. I like that a lot too. Actually, let me put a little bit of that on. So I'm about to take my allergy pill because what we won't do is be fighting for our lives in the morning and put my I think I am going to spray my rose water. I just like my face to be very hydrated when I go to sleep. And this is my face. Good night. I said, 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 I said,